Hi, hello. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to preface this video. This is like me from the future. This video that I had filmed a month ago has taken so long for me to be able to edit this to get it up. And the only reason that is, is because I have a lot of things going on in my life. Um, I'm going through a job change. I've been extremely stressed. So all of this footage that you are about to see is from a month ago. I still wanted to get it up just because I didn't want my efforts to like not be shared. Like I filmed the video, I took the time to edit it. I might as well post it. So yeah, just know that this vlog is old <laughs> from the time that I'm posting it, but I still wanted to get it up. Take that for what it is. I'm really sorry. It's just like, what a, like, what in it, a crazy month this has been. And also haven't been reading at all this month. It's like every single time I open up a book to read, I am super distracted and I can't get into it. So I'm hoping that the month of June, which, is in a week. I'm hoping that the month of June will be a better reading month for me. I have a ton of summer books that I want to dive into and I really want to jump back into reading. Um, I miss it a lot. I just feel like it hasn't been the best stress reliever for my brain because I have just, my, my mind has just been going a million miles a minute. So I've been finding stress relief in playing video games and, and stuff like that. So with that being said, sorry about the late post and how old this video is, but uh, here it is anyways, and I hope you enjoy. Hello. Welcome. I wanted to start this series that's like reading different um, genres or different authors throughout the week. I just got done reading A Thousand Boy Kisses, finished it this morning and sobbed. A Thousand Boy Kisses, Tilly Cole. Um, I finished that on my Kindle. It's on Kindle Unlimited. I, the last two chapters I cried this whole morning. So I had to like pull myself together and prepare for this video. <laughs> but anyways, I have the day off today. So I wanna start reading some new books that I just got. Well, some of them I just got, one of them I've had for a little while, but I have collected these books of like regular literary fiction, which isn't my usual genre. I usually read mainly romance. So this is gonna be a little bit of a change and a little bit of a challenge for me, but the books that I have here, I have four books. I don't think I'm gonna read all of them because A Little Life is literally a monster. Um, how many pages is this? It's like over 800 pages. So I'm thinking I'm gonna save this towards the end and see how much I can actually read of this. And then I'm, I might have to finish this book up next week, but we'll see. These three books, however, I definitely wanna read this week. So yesterday I went to Barnes & Noble and I got My Year of Rest and Relaxation. This book is very intriguing. I don't know anything about this, nothing. I've heard that it's good, I've heard it's weird. So sign me up. Bunny, this book. It's pretty short. I'm pretty sure this is also literary fiction. I've heard that this is like ho horror side though, leans towards horror. I don't know. I don't really care. We're gonna read it anyways. And then tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, Gabrielle Zevin. I don't know. I've had this one for a while and I know that this is regular literary fiction too. So after just reading a couple of emotional YA books that have made me bawl my eyes out, I need a change. So we're gonna just read regular literary fiction. I'm pretty sure, I think I wanna start with this one, just because this is the one that like intrigues me the most. I think I'm gonna read Bunny after that, and then I'm gonna read this guy, and then hopefully get into A Little Life after that, I'm probably not gonna finish it, but I'm very intrigued. None of these books I really know anything about. This one I know a little bit more of just because I've seen reviews of this book. The other three, nothing. And I've actually been liking reading like that where I just hear that people really like it or it has five stars or four or higher stars on whatever site and just kind of like 
go from there. Yeah, I'm gonna start reading this book. We'll see how it goes. I think I'm gonna film like throughout the week. It's really hard for me to film though, um, most days because I get home from work and then it's like, I only have a couple hours to read. So we're just gonna see how it goes. So I think I'm just gonna like curl up on my bed and just read for a little while. And I have all of the things. I have my coffee, I have my headphones, I have my phone, I have my giant thing of water and keto cookie. Cause you know, if you know, you know. Chapter one ends at page 51. Biggest book ick. Long chapters. It's fine, we're gonna keep going. The words are really big, so I feel like it's going by quick. The weirdest book I've ever read in my life. It's not bad, it's just weird. About halfway, I'm gonna see how far I get tonight. All right, I finished my year of rest and relaxation yesterday. I am indifferent about this book. It was weird. It was a very weird book. It was unlike anything I've ever read before. So there's that. <laughs> the writing was okay. The chapters were so incredibly long. Like I think there's 300 pages in here, 288 pages. And the last chapter is chapter eight and it's only one page. So there's basically seven chapters in almost 300 pages. So finding breaks in these chapters was awful. It was an easy read. The words are really big. The margins are are wide. So it's like, it's a smaller book. It's, it's quick to get through. It's just, it, there's no real plot. <laughs> there's no real plot. I think the writing was interesting. Um, it, it, it was a breakup in my normal genre. It was an experience for sure, and I'm just gonna like take it for what it is. That one's done. It's 7.02, so I have about like 45 minutes before I need to go to work. So I'm, I picked up Bunny last night and started reading it. It's interesting so far. I feel like I've, I've gotten into it a little bit more than I did with my year of rest and relaxation. It's very weird, again, just a weird book, but I'm going to read this for a little while this morning. There's been a ton of traffic on my way to work, so I'm gonna leave for work a little bit early, and if I get to work early and have some time, I might read before work, and then I'm going to read this when I get home from work. I'm hoping to finish this book by tomorrow night so that I can get onto my third book, but I don't, I don't know for sure how it's gonna go. So this one has a little bit more pages, the words are really small and the margins are tiny. So yeah, I wanna say this one's about 300 pages. Yeah, it's pretty much spot on 300 pages exactly, 305. I'm gonna read for a little bit, I might film some of that. So anyways, good morning.
Okay, super quick update in my messy bedroom. I read Bunny. I finished it. <sighs> um, <laughs> this book was a fever dream. Like, I don't even know what to say about this book. I'm gonna have to do like an internet deep dive about this book because I just... <sighs> I had to get the audiobook and like listen to this and read it like follow along because the first half of the book I was like I don't I don't really like I get the gist of what's happening but I don't really know what's happening. The writing was cool. It was a little bit different than anything I've ever read or that I've read recently. Like the writing is very strange. For example, there's like regular dialogue when she's talking to someone, the main character, Samantha. Um when she's talking to someone, there's random, like, regular dialogue, but then she imagines in her brain, like, <laughs> she imagines in her brain. She imagines herself having side conversations that aren't actually happening. So, like, she'll have these conversations that are, like, in italics, but, like, it's being said in her head, but it's not actually being said. So there's like two conversations going on. It's, it's, this book is wild. Anyways, I'm finished with it. Now I'm gonna read tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I took the, um, dust jacket off because I can't read a hardcover book with a dust jacket. I just can't do it. This book is about 385 pages. I'm gonna do my best to finish this book in two days. I'm very excited to read this and read like a normal, <laughs> a normal fiction book. Cause the last two books I just, I, I feel like this week of reading, I'm like, did I actually read or was I, like, it literally felt like those last two books were just a fever dream. So I'm gonna read this book now and we'll see how I like it. Hi. I feel like I can never do this vlog style because I have so much going on and I can never have a second in this house by myself. So it's my day off and I actually have some time so I'm going to check in and I feel very sassy today. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I just filmed like two videos so I'm just super jazzed and I've had like a ton of coffee so. Okay I finished tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I didn't film a ton of me reading this because it took me so much longer to read this book than I had wanted. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna finish this book on Sunday, latest. No girl, no. I savored every second of this book because of how amazing this book is. And it took me so long to read because I wanted to make sure I did not miss anything. So instead of me reading literary fiction in a week, what we're gonna call this video is Kayla reads books out of her comfort zone. I think we're gonna call it that. So yes, I finished tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. This book gave me so much video game nostalgia. Um, if anyone in the real world knows anything about me, I am the biggest video game nerd. I spend all of my free time either reading, playing video games, or I don't know, watching movies. Like that's pretty much it. Like I read and I play video games. I have a lot of um, retro handheld video games because that's the most nostalgic to me is handheld. Nintendo is just like reading this just I felt like I was home in this book and they reference so many different video games. This is the first book that I've ever tabbed and written in, in my life. I don't write in books, I don't tab them. I just kind of like go along and I read them and I was like, okay, well that's a good book. This, I I couldn't help but to tab every single time that they mentioned a game, like this one. She's talking about a Sadie who's like the girl who um, helps build video games with Sam. They're like two friends and they build video games together. And she, they're getting ready to move to Los Angeles and she's packing up all of her um, computer games and she says she's got a bunch of cases and cardboard, cardboard containers on her shelf and she's talking about all the games that she's going to bring with her and she says Commander Keen, Myst, Doom, Diablo, Final Fantasy, Metal Gear Solid, 
um, World of Warcraft, Monkey Island, like all of these games. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they talk about Donkey Kong. For the holidays, Simon and Ann gave Sadie a Game Boy. I was like, um, she didn't have time to use it uh, until the trip to Tokyo. The first game she played was Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon is a farming role-playing game. You are a farmer whose job is to raise crops, find a wife, make friends with people in the community, and it was one of the first, if not the first, farming games. I love that they mentioned um, Harvest Moon. They mentioned Animal Crossing. Like, I just, I loved this book. When I was done with this book, I wanted to just binge play Pokemon or something on my Game Boy. Like I just, I, I loved this. Anyways, if you like games, <laughs> long winded thing. If you like video games and you like literature, this one, I told my husband who also is a huge gamer um, and he likes books as well. I got him to read Akatar. So I was like, when you're done listening to your audiobook, get this audiobook and listen to it because he's got a long drive to work. Um, I told him to listen to this and he says that he was really interested. So yes, this book, great, fantastic. So I'm done with that. I am now reading A Little Life. I decided to make this video longer than it needs to be and I'm reading A Little Life. Yes, by, oh God, I'm gonna butcher her name. Hanya Yanagihara, Yanagihara? I think that's how you say it. Um, yeah, so yesterday I have read, as of yesterday, I've read 97 pages. So I read the first part. I don't know how long it's going to take me to read this book. I'm going to try to read as much as I can throughout the rest of the week and I'm going to check in. I am so scared of this book. I'm only 100 pages in and I'm not scared yet, but I know something's coming. I don't know what that something is. I've tabbed a few things, but nothing's really jumped at me that I'm, I've needed to like tab or highlight or anything yet. So yeah, um, these pages are like Bible pages and they are super thin. And that's why this book isn't, doesn't seem as big, but it's like 800 pages long. So I'm gonna do my best and I'm going to do my best to try to check in. We'll see how that goes because I feel like I never have time. I'm gonna have to start taking my, camera to work with me and like film in the car or something. As of right now with this book, I don't really know what's going on. I know that it's like four friends that are college friends from New York and now they're in their like mid twenties and they're just kind of like going through life. And it's so far it's given a little bit of like a snippet of each of them, except for Jude. It hasn't really gone into any of Jude's backstory yet. And he's very intriguing and I'm just kind of trying to figure him out and figure out like what's going on with him. So yeah, anyways, I'm reading this dreaded book. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not crying. I've seen some wild videos of people just like bawling their eyes out on TikTok. So yeah, I will try to check in as much as I can. I'm so sorry that this video has turned into something completely different, but when life gives you lemons, we're gonna make a dessert. Okay, and I keep forgetting to use this. So hopefully you can hear me. I just realized, sick, sick Kayla. <sighs> All right, I just got done recording a video. So that's why I'm like set up here. I'm not even halfway through a little life. I'm at page 300. I have today and tomorrow off. I'm going to try to bang out as much of this book as I possibly can in the next two days. And I'm gonna see where I get. Uh, last night I had a moment of weakness where I was like, am I gonna DNF this book? Because I feel like I've been reading this for almost a week and I've only gotten 300 pages in. It's like, I'm waiting for like something, something wild to happen. I am kind of bored. <laughs> Oh, I'm kind of bored, guys. So I'm gonna continue reading this. I'm like, can I just like read another 100 pages today? If I can read 100 pages today and 100 pages tomorrow, I'm hoping that I can finish this by like Friday, Saturday. 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. I still have 500 pages left. A little over 100 pages for the next week, for the next four days. Yeah. So if I'm going to hit that deadline, I better get going. It's already 1116. So I'm going to continue on with this for science. I'm going to see how far I get. Okay. Here's the thing. I didn't bring my book with me, so I can't like physically hold it up for you, but I'll like insert it wherever. I'm like watching these people in this parking lot. Like 
We're just gonna wait so I don't look like I'm talking to a camera. It's fine. So I DNF'd this book. I just couldn't do it. I, I don't think I'm gonna DNF it like forever. I feel like I'll finish it at some point. I literally have 150 pages left, which is so pathetic. Like I could easily get through that, but every single time I would open up this book, I just like wasn't in the mood. Yeah, um, take that for what it is. Uh, it's not a bad book. It's just a lot. Like it's a, it's a heavy book and it made me not depressed, but I just like, I need something a little bit more like light and airy and more carefree and just like silly. So, but just to summarize this video, um, I read My Year of Rest and Relaxation. I gave that book three stars. It was okay. Like it, it was fine. Um, will I read it again? Maybe. Uh, I just feel like you have to really be in the mood for that and you have to really understand the writing and take it for what it is. But yeah, I rated that book three stars. And then Bunny by Mona Awad. I also rated that book three stars. Uh, it was okay. <laughs> you know, like dabbling into genres that I wouldn't normally read. Like, I'm glad that I did. I just... You know, they were just okay. Um, and then I read Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. I really liked that book. I rated it 4.5 stars. It wasn't a perfect five for me because I feel like it was a little bit too long, but I really did enjoy it. I really did enjoy the writing style. I'm hoping to look into some other writings that she's done, maybe in the future, read some more books by her, um, but I really did enjoy that book. And then we'll just say, like, if I finished this a little life book, I probably would have rated it four stars like flat because the writing is absolutely impeccable. It's magnificent. It is such a work of art. You just really, really, really have to be in the mood for reading that book. And it's also a big commitment because it is an 800 page book of despair. So yeah, that's that in a nutshell to wrap this vlog up. I'm so sorry that this vlog was like literally everywhere. I'll, as I continue on with this YouTube journey, I'm sure I'll get better at it. So bear with me until I kind of get like a groove and a routine going. But yeah, if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.